Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On Mo's agenda today, corned beef and rice. Start the ingredients off with some oil, four cans of corned beef, cut up tomatoes, cut up scotch bonnet, and some cut up purple onions. And we put the ketchup to the side because my sis is picky. All right, so I'm gonna turn on this gas stove. Ugh, I love me a good gas stove, okay? And then we use this cast iron pan right here anytime we're cooking um, Jamaican dishes. As you can see, it has done some time in this world, okay? But that's all right. We got a big one, a small one, and we make it do what it do. So you're gonna see me pouring in the oil right here. Guys, funny joke. So I have an entire three minute clip <laughs> of my mother, my sister, and I arguing about what to put in this pot first. Onions and the scotch bonnet pepper and the garlic and then we let it all cook out and then we put the corned beef and then my sister's like, no, we about to put this corned beef in there first. We could put the garlic, but then we're going to put this corned beef in there first. And then we're going to add onions and stuff. And we just over here arguing about it. <laughs> and the pot just sitting there. The oil getting hot. Oh, Lord. So, basically, my sister won. <laughs> Let me explain. I was just like, whoever's the pickiest eater should get their version of how they want it done. Even though I am shooting this video for, you know, teaching purposes, I'm just like, you guys will now know you can choose to do whichever part you want first. So we decided to go ahead and start off with the garlic in the pot and just get that to um, marinate with the oil. So here you see me just stirring it up, regular degular. Next, we added in the corned beef, and after the corned beef set in there, well, we after we crushed up the corned beef, we then added in the purple onions. And you could obviously choose yellow onion if you want, sweet onion, shallot, whatever onion you want, or you could decide to skip that step altogether. You gotta get the pepper. It is really the only seasoning you are going to add to corned beef because if you know, corned beef itself is salty. That's why we add the garlic and we add the onions and the scotch bonnet pepper and that's how we flavor it. So the only seasoning we are going to put on this is black pepper. And I don't know if you guys saw, but get into the seasoning drawer, okay? Our kitchen is a work in progress. If you guys watched my first video, you would have seen me sitting on my blue couch and saying, in our new spot yes i am in a new spot and i will definitely have a lot of organization videos coming this way on this channel so if you are into that make sure you are subscribed now we're adding in the tomatoes oh i love tomatoes on food it just brightens up the dish i mean it's even adding flavor you gotta have the tomatoes. And again, as a reminder, you can dress this up or dress it down as you like. I have seen people just take the corned beef right out of the can and then put it on a slice of bread, okay? This is one of the meals we cooked a lot in my household growing up. It's just a quick and easy meal. It gets everyone fed. Right here we use four cans and we have four adults and three kids. So this went perfectly. We even had leftover. Here I am deciding to put 
one or two pieces of scotch bonnet because like I just said, we have kids and two of the adults can't handle spice. So. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to get into my sister's butter white rice. She was proud of her white rice, so I'm going to give her the credit because it was good. Now, for corned beef, you can definitely pair it with a few things. It is a versatile dish. Right now, we are having this for dinner, so I'm going to pair it with the white rice and a veg. And for example, if you are having this for breakfast, in Jamaica, we call it food. It's so funny because it's all food, right? But we call it food, which is we would have did some dumpling and banana. We could have did some plantain, even some Irish potato, kind of yam, pumpkin, anything you want for breakfast when you pair it with this. I mean, at this point, the dishes are all of complete. It took all of 10 minutes to put this all together. And then I just got into plating. I decided I was gonna fix my mom's plate. So like I said, I added some veg and white rice. If I had the time, I probably would have added a different veg, but I guess it doesn't matter since my mom put potato salad with it as well anyway. Um, so yeah, I just added the corned beef and I'm trying to get presentation together, honey, okay? So I'm just like, how do I put it? Do I put it cascading down the rice? Or do I put it just a plop on the plate? Because, you know, at the end of the day, this corned beef is just, you know, not giving the best eye presentation. But you could put it together. Just having the rice look like that is making the dish, look, stepping the dish up just a little bit. It's, it's the little things. And then I'm just like, Ugh, I need a pop of color. So I'm going to add that scotch bonnet pepper right on top. Gammy says it's giving. Mm. Mm. It's giving, it's giving. Mm -hmm. mm. It's so good. Mm. Mm. Y'all. It's good, it's good. Kids did really good. Mm. 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 They don't call me chef for nothing. Mm. 